a Muslim must have life goals. Get rid of this mentality that I see a lot of our young brothers and sisters, well, even older ones, the Muslims, where we think we can just sit on the border just like that, pray five times a day, uh, fast our month of Ramadan, pay our zakat, go to Hajj, get married, and for some men, marry many women, up to four, and uh, have children, teach them the Quran, and that's it. Brothers and sisters, that is only a very small part. We're going to talk about well, how does a Muslim live their life and set their goals. And you're going to be amazed at how the Sunnah teaches us. The Prophet ﷺ also said, and the hadith is in Bukhari, he said, if the final hour comes, if the final hour comes, while you have a shoot of plant in your hands, and it is possible to plant it before the hour comes, then plant it. Allah. Do you guys know what this hadith means? Brothers and sisters, we can't just read hadiths and ayat of the Quran on surface level. We need to go deeper. We need to analyze. We need to think harder. Ask questions. What is the Prophet ﷺ saying? If the last hour, you heard the last hour is coming and you have a shoot of plant, what's the point of planting a plant when, the, when it's going to end? Rasulullah is telling us, your purpose in life is not the outcome. That's Allah's business. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does that. You, Allah looks at your efforts and what? Two things. Efforts and intentions. 